Porsche, this video is sponsored by AG1 by Athletic Greens. I generally like to report on the news, share what's going on, leaks and rumors. It is a very weird feeling when your name is in the news, at least a very small part of it. So this story got out. I wasn't really trying to hide it or anything. I just didn't think it was anybody cared uh, all that much, but I am selling my Lucid Air, but it's not the reason that I think most people expect. So in being honest and sort of open, I started the process of sharing the story of getting the car. Thought it made sense to share the story of selling it as well. Let me tell you. So back in around December of 2021, I took delivery. I was one of the first, I believe, uh, in California of a Lucid Air Performance Dream Edition. You've seen it, we did videos on it. Uh, the car was incredible in pretty much every aspect. It drove unlike anything I have ever driven. Uh, the performance was nuts, the luxury was incredible, build quality was outstanding. Uh, I love the Lucid Air. So it might seem weird that this weekend, I sold it. Uh, I no longer have it. This is a story that I've been sharing uh, since the beginning. My lease on my Model 3 was up. Uh, I wanted to get an electric car. I needed to take delivery in calendar year 21. So I put deposits down, refundable deposits, uh, on a few cars, Lucid, uh, Rivian, uh, and a few others, and just sort of waited to see what came first. And Lucid was the first one. And the car is and was incredible. So why did I sell it? The reasons were twofold. First, having a car that cost that much money made me very anxious driving it anywhere. It also made me a little more self-conscious than I think I like to be uh, when I was out and about. I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it long-term or not. The used car market when I got it was crazy. Uh, I had offers in the first two weeks of taking delivery for much more than I paid for it. So I figured I'll drive it until I don't want to drive it anymore and get something different. I also took delivery of a Rivian R1T that honestly I thought I was just gonna flip and sell because they were hard to get. They were selling for like a, almost double uh, the amount. And what happened was I fell in love with the Rivian. I love the practicality of having a truck. I love the practicality of having much more room for three kids, for activities. Uh, I'm bringing a lot of stuff down to the studio. I'm bringing TVs, I'm bringing boxes, camera equipment, uh, and having the room in the truck bed was way more useful uh, than I expected. It was also surprising how much my wife loved driving uh, the R1T as well, where she was just terrified to go anywhere near, or near to Lucid, worried about getting in an accident uh, or anything. So both of those cars were here. The used car market is starting to soften in here in the US, meaning prices are coming down. So if I was going to sell one of them for hopefully a profit, it kinda had to be now. And so I made the decision to sell the Lucid. So while Lucid is a gorgeous car, at least to my eye, not everything is skin deep. Take this green drink. You might look at this and think, it might turn into a Ninja Turtle. This green drink though is AG1 by Athletic Greens, and it actually tastes pretty delicious, and it does a ton of things. I'm gonna get this just out of the way early. It actually tastes pretty good. In fact, it doesn't really taste like anything. It tastes mostly like water, like a hint of like apple juice uh, thrown in there. So for me, this nutritional drink uh, serves a few purposes. I generally take two multivitamins a day and a probiotic. Uh, now I just gotta drink one of these, which personally makes life a lot easier. I just do it with my coffee in the morning, uh, but also it helps with recovery after workouts. I'm trying to make my shape not be a circle. So inside of this green drink is actually 75 different ingredients. Things like vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. It's also really easy to make. It's either uh, one scoop or they sell little packets that are individually partitioned out for you. Dump it in, it's eight to 12 ounces of water. Do a little shimmy shake uh, and you are good to go. I drink it on the go. Drop my kids off at camp or school in the morning. Drink it in the car. It makes life really easy. I'm getting everything I need. I've stopped taking very gross smelling multivitamins. Uh, AG1 gives me everything I need, from energy, gut health, keeping my body healthy, and also helping with immunity, which right now I'm gonna take. But Athletic Greens, who makes AG1, uh, is gonna give you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five travel packs. So if this sounds like something that you want to check out, go to athleticgreens.com slash John Rettinger.
There are some things that I'm really gonna miss about the Lucid. Again, I've never driven uh, a Model S Plaid, so I can't equate it to that at all. Uh, but the sheer power of having 1,111 horsepower is absolutely incredible. And having that always on tap is like a mind blowing experience. And all of that in a luxury car that feels like how that car feels, I am definitely gonna miss. The different drive modes making such a huge difference. I wanted to have a nice smooth, calm ride or I wanted just to literally pass anybody. I love that it kind of is almost two cars in one. I also really liked that it was it was new, something I hadn't experienced before, everything about the car. I love some of the questions that I got about it and sharing and evangelizing for the brand. Sometimes the questions made me a little bit uh, uncomfortable, which I guess played a little bit into why I sold it. Uh, but I just loved sharing things about a new car. The questions were always, what is that? Or what kind of Tesla is that? Is it electric? And sort of just saying, no, it's it's not a Tesla. It's a new car company. It's called Lucid. It's fully electric. You can get one with 520 miles of range. People were, their eyes opened up. And I think that's great for the whole EV space, whether it's Lucid, Rivian, Tesla, uh, any other EV maker out there. It was kind of a cool experience to be just a very small part in kind of educating people on something different. So I'm mentioning the, the software stuff not being as incredible and robust as I would have liked. But again, I feel like I knew that going in. Um, if I didn't have the Rivian, I would have happily kept driving the Lucid and I would have loved to see those improvements step by step. I had the same issues with my 2013 Model S. I knew there was gonna be software issues going in. Ultimately, seeing those improve did make me appreciate the car more. I do think that would have been the case here with Lucid as well. I don't wanna construe any of this since I don't recommend people getting a Lucid Air. I think I can 100% recommending it. Just know on the early phases, you will have some software struggles that I do have confidence will be rectified. But everything else about that car was absolutely incredible. I don't want this to be distorted as like, John hates his Lucid and new headlines and you know have a different message than what I intended. It was just honestly, the car market is softening. I could make more money selling the Lucid than I could anything else right now. And that made it a very simple and easy decision. So that's honestly the whole thing. Uh, I sold the Lucid because I love the Rivian and it was a good time in the market to get rid of it before the used car market kind of bottoms out. So I am planning on chilling for a while on buying cars. I've never had more than one car at a time before. So it was a bit of a strange experience. Planning on hanging out uh, with the Rivian uh, for, for a few years. We'll see what happens with the used car market. If it heats up again and these things, value tends to go up afterwards. I don't get that attached to cars, you can tell. I'm a businessman, it's an opportunity to make some money. I probably will do it. Uh, but I absolutely love the R1T right now. Very few things that I would change about it. We've made whole videos uh, on that. But I do plan on, on sticking with it uh, for a while. That's honestly the whole story. There's nothing else here. There's nothing like going on. I'm not paid or sponsored by Lucid or Rivian. I paid for those cars with my own money, with no discount or anything. Um, I've loved both of them. If you're in the market for a luxury car, the Lucid Air is incredible. I think I can still absolutely recommend it. I think by the time you take delivery anyway, a lot of these software issues would be uh, addressed. Allegedly, CarPlay is coming by the end of the summer, so that should, again, fix a lot of those issues, whether you're looking at a Grand Touring, uh, a Pure Edition, whatever it might be. It's a really incredible, fun car uh, to drive. Just surprisingly having a truck suiting my lifestyle a little bit more right now. And that is the whole story, end of story.